Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're on war number four. Uh, this is season 26, and we're going up against an alliance called Le Phoenix. I think I said that right. Uh, let's take a look at their defense. I'm a little bit late, had a little family emergency. Hopefully everything will be okay. Um, but let's see here. All right, so I uh, won't be the first one over here, so I'll be able to uh, go pretty far. We've got Warlock on that first node. He shouldn't be a problem. I could take him with my own Warlock or my Black Widow Clairvoyant. They didn't place anyone on that node, and they have already taken the uh, mini, so we don't have to worry about that. Middle is clear. All right, we've got Dr. Doom on this node here with the EMP modification. That can be fun. Um, Nick Fury can take that fight if necessary. Oh, wow. And then I've got another Dr. Doom to deal with on this node. Um, shouldn't have a problem with him there. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think I've fought him on that node before. So there might be something I'm not thinking about, but Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to handle that one. Uh, also, this Magneto, you don't want to bring Metal Champions, so I won't be using uh, Warlock. Also, with his Bleed Resistance, I don't really want to use uh, Nick Fury, so it's got to be Claire. Uh, then we've got that Venom up there. Warlock can do it. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight also. And here, Mini Boss Island. Okay, we got Apocalypse up there. That can be a tricky fight. Um, Cosmic Ghost Rider here. That also can be tricky. I think Claire could do the both of those fights. That Terex, uh, not so much. We really need to get someone in there with uh, power control. And uh, off to the right-hand side, uh, Human Torch for that Sasquatch. And I'm not sure who uh, the backup will bring to counter uh, Killmonger and Invisible Woman. Uh, but we'll see when we get there. All right, so I need to get these fights started. And I will be back to uh, commentate on the fights. So, be right back. All right, so we're going in with my standard team of Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. Uh, so, we've already scouted the path out, as you saw earlier. Uh, and path three, I'm going to first fight this Warlock. Now, it shouldn't be a difficult fight. I'm going to use Black Widow Clairvoyant, but honestly, I could have used Warlock. Wouldn't use Nick Fury only because Warlock is bleed immune, uh, but Nick Fury could also do that fight in a pinch, but it wouldn't be a fun fight. Uh, wouldn't be quick, and I wasn't about to uh, do that when I had better options. All right, so let's go in here against... Warlock. Now, because Warlock is immune to bleed and poison, uh, we actually do get um, a few of these charges here. You see I'm switching to Curse of Plague and then Curse of Hellfire. All right, I'm just blocking the first two, evading the last one. Uh, I have evaded all of his special one before, but I need more practice, and war is not the place for me to practice. And he's down. One special two, and it was over with. Switch to um, Curse of Hellfire, fired off a special two, and he's done. All right, so just like I thought, not a problem uh, for Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I don't have anyone to fight there. Uh, the mini was already taken. So on to section two. The middle was cleared, but section two is not open yet. And we have Doom there. So I looked at this Doom, and he looked at me. And I looked at him, and he looked at me. And then I said, you know what? 
no thank you. Uh, let someone else that has a better counter deal with him. Uh, because of that EMP modification, I didn't want to deal with that um, with my current setup. Now, lest you think I'm just scared of fighting Doom, I gotta fight Doom here. The reason that I didn't want to fight Doom on that node is because I still have the Dexterity Mastery, and his special one and his special two, I don't want to take blocked. And his special one is unblockable. So you're going to have to evade it or take a lot of damage and die. So evading it when you have the Dexterity Mastery is going to give you that buff. And when he fires off his next special, you're going to take damage. So unless I was going to go in hard, you know, and just blitz him down with uh, Nick Fury, that wasn't going to be a, a good fight, okay? So here I am fighting Doom with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, we're fighting him the way that I have learned. Uh, he was so difficult to deal with early on, but I learned to evade his special one first. And his special two, I can evade now, but every once in a while, if you try it in Alliance War, things happen that don't happen other places and you get caught. Um, but as you can see here, I'm able to evade it uh, without any difficulty. Uh, do you guys remember when there was a stubborn global? Doom with that global? It was ridiculous. Uh, you always saw Doom as the boss because it was ridiculous. Um, but since they've changed things, now we don't shiver and shake when we see Doom on a node. And as you can see, uh, they weren't too concerned with diversity. Uh, you already saw two Dooms. Uh, and he is still a decent defender. Uh, you still want to be careful. Okay, so you can see here, not doing a whole lot of damage. Because Doom is very tanky. He has a high crit resistance. So even though you can crit against him, you're not going to do it too often. And that makes him very, very tanky because... The majority of your damage comes from those crits. So, still a very, very viable defender. All right, and here we go. I'm back in a curse of blood here. And here we go. Boom. I just wanted to get as much healing as I could. That's why you saw me parry him, not hit him, because it would have probably killed him. Just parry and then fire my special two so I could get a little bit of health back. Not, not as much as I would have liked, but, you know, a little health back. Next up, we've got Magneto. Now, Magneto got a rework. And he is a true beast. Um, Omega-level mutant, for real. Uh, one of their best reworks, I would say. You do not want to fight him with a metal champion, if you can help it. And they added so many metal champions... Um, they added the hashtag metal to so many champions. All right. So you want to fight him with someone who isn't metal and who can, you know, deal with him. And that's why we brought in Black Widow Clairvoyance. I love my Black Widow Clairvoyant, in case y'all couldn't tell. Um, Warlock, of course, not a good matchup. Uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury could do it. But Magneto with that bleed uh, resistance, not a great matchup either. All right. So I went to Curse of Blood only because I wanted to get more healing. Uh, and that was the only reason. Love her. Love her utility. Love her sustainability. All right. So Magneto down. Now we've got this Venom. And on this node, we have Buffet. And Strike Counter Combat Rate. So basically, you need a way to deal with the healing. And you want somebody that doesn't overly rely on their special attacks. Because eventually, you're not going to be able to run your specials. Okay? Now, one of the things that I do here is apply that advanced power boost. Because on this node, as I mentioned, you're going to eventually not be able to fire off your specials. 
but you have a little window. So I'm starting with a special um, one ready, but I'm not going to fire it off yet. I'm going to parry him because we want to make sure he doesn't heal up. Okay, there we go. We've got the infections on him. And I've parried a few more times just to get in a, you know, a head start. All right, and here we go. And boom, we can already fire our special two off. Kadoom. Now, I could have done a um, power boost, I think. But I never remember when those things work and when they don't. All right, so I didn't do that. Otherwise, you know, again, some champs, we can do like back-to-back -back special twos. And it's a good time. And this fight goes down. All right, so... We got a special uh, two off, right? And you see the suppression? And you'll notice we're not getting to another special two. Okay? Look at that. No more special twos. So, parry heavy. The protection kicked in, but it got removed because um, of the attack tactic. Warlock, I believe, is uh, extra large. He's either large or extra large. But large and extra large champions... When they knock down their opponent, it removes all the protection on them. So even if I trigger protection, it's all good. And I was not about to evade that special two. I have done it. Not going to do it. Now I have no power. And in order to reset the counters, I have to fire a special. But I can't do that because I'm being suppressed. That's why I said you want to go in with somebody who does not overly rely on their special attacks. So... I didn't have to fire, uh, I didn't have to use my advanced power boost if I didn't want to, but I wanted to get a head start and I wanted the fight to be over a little bit sooner, you know, and so we got him down. But mainly when I use that power boost, I really want to use um, a power, uh, I guess it's another power boost, not the advanced power boost, but just the regular power boost. Those two combined will let me fire off a couple of special twos possibly end the fight or end it much earlier you know um, but we got him down without too much difficulty he kept the uh, infections up on him uh, so he, he didn't heal back now uh, I was asked to uh, take out that apocalypse up there and Terax and we believe that uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant would be a great option for both of them Poor Nick Fury. My poor Nick Fury. He's just there. But eventually, Apocalypse would go bleed immune. So Nick Fury would not be the best option. Uh, same thing uh, with Warlock. You know, I can't parry heavy. But Warlock could have possibly done this fight. Uh, at least this one here. But we're going to go in with Black Widow Clairvoyant. She has the sustainability. And because I do not know how to evade completely Apocalypse's um, special one, that sustainability is a good thing. All right, so you can see here, I'm taking it seriously. Uh, boosting up. Um, and that was that uh, power boost there. Uh, when I'm taking on that other mini, that's the power boost I was talking about. All right, so... Let's go in against Big Daddy Apaco. Now, I have beaten him before on this node, so I'm not anticipating any problems. So I'm going, you know, Curse of uh, Plague and then Curse of Hellfire, uh, mainly so that I can get the poison off of me. And this is the damage mode here. Okay? And you see how I block the first part, evade the last bit there and then here we go i'm doing good damage we've got hurt locker so i don't want to fire off another special two okay so i've got to fire off uh, a special one or three at this point i went with a special one now he's got protection up and i've got to intercept him to remove that protection or just deal with it it's going to reduce my damage a little bit but just deal with it, you know? All right, so now I can fire off another special uh, two. I'm in Curse of Blood now, so I can get some healing back. All right? And if you're wondering why I'm able to do that when it says unblockable, uh, with most specials in the game, 
if it says unblockable, only the first part of that is unblockable. So you see where he's swinging? He has a melee uh, portion of his special. Like all that right there, you get hit by that, it's unblockable. You can't parry that, you know? But as long as you evade that, you can block all the rest of it or block and evade or just evade the rest of it if you want. All right, so we got Big Daddy Apaco down without too much difficulty. Uh, didn't heal up as much as I would have liked, but we're in decent shape. And I know that I'm going to need to bring her in against Terax. Now, Warlock can fight Terax. But Warlock does have class disadvantage. And this node ideally has someone who can power control. Now, Black Widow does have some power control. All right, so we're waiting out the uh, rock feel there, like I usually do, and now we're going in. Uh, her power control is on her Curse of uh, Play, which is the mode we're in right now. You'll notice that I'm not finishing my combos. Uh, that's just so that I can stay in that mode and not have it accidentally read it as a, sw uh, a light attack and switch me out, okay? So here we go. We got him to fire that special off. So he's draining, draining. And this is pretty much how we want to do it. Okay. Rock field expired. Now we'll go in again. We can fire off another special two. Notice his power. It's not going up by a lot. Now I switched to um, Purse of Hellfire. Uh, because I wanted to do a little bit more damage. So... Uh, we didn't control his power as much uh, on that one when we were in Curse of Hellfire, but we did a lot more damage. All right, so you just look at this. We're ripping him up. Uh, as long as he's firing his specials off, we're good because uh, he's not going to get a special three. And Terax likes to fire his specials, as you can see here. And I love it because then it drains all his power. So it works out pretty well. You know, uh, we didn't need to use a lot of her um, power control. And I saw that uh, as I played around with him a little bit. All right. So we got the incinerate on him and finished it with a special two. And Terex is down. So we were able to go through our paths, take out a couple of minis. And that is going to conclude my fighting for this particular war. Uh, we'll be back after a short intermission, and we'll find out uh, just how we did in this war. And it's looking really good, uh, and I think we should win. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.